Now, of course, development in the tourism industry is something that affects each and every one of us, from our local explorers to the globe totters among us. So we took a moment to speak to the experts to find out what 2016 has in store for our tourism industry. Tourism is considered as a modern-day engine of growth, certainly here in South Africa. To give you an idea, the total contribution of travel and tourism to the South African GDP in 2014 was 357 billion rand, making up a good 9.4% of the country's GDP. So with this number, is now expected to increase to 561 billion rand by 2025. So globally, tourism is regarded as one of the largest industries, understandably. Something our studio guests, Fred Dixon, the CEO of the New York Tourism Bureau, and Enver Dermany, the CEO of Cape Town Tourism, know all too well. Good morning, gentlemen. Lots of figures going out there. Lots of nodding of heads as well. This is big business. Great to see two CEOs connecting. Um, Fred, I'm going to start with you. Obviously, you have a connection to South Africa already. Now that you're here again, your thoughts, your feelings, do you feel like a tourist in South Africa? I do, yeah. <laughs> it's at my first visit and I'm in love already. Oh, absolutely yeah. love it. So what was the rationale here? You guys are connecting from literally the other side of the world. Why was it so important for you to connect on this level? Inver, can I start with you? Yeah, well, thank you and good morning. Um, I think what I found when I started looking at tourism was saying that who are the big cities that we need to compete with? And in that, I saw New York and said, wow. You know, I saw their numbers and <laughs> said, wow, if I could get at least a fraction of that, it would help. And then I kind of just started engaging with Fred. And, and what I found surprising was the willingness to want to, to work with us and share. And I think that is, is testament to the tourism industry itself, is that that willingness to share, to learn from each other. Because what we found was is that you know, we have similar challenges. The scale is maybe just different. But um, <laughs> the right. New York guys have been amazing to date. Um, what works, works anywhere in the world. To the point that by the looks of things, you've had the whole of South Africa basically visit New York over the last year. 53.8 uh, million visitors through that city. What is the Big Apple getting right? How do you achieve this? Well, we've been very lucky to have significant growth over the last seven or eight years. And much of it is due to the fact that the destination is always evolving. It's one of the great things about New York. Every visit can be different. Um, new hotels, new cultural institutions. And we've just been on an incredible role. What have you guys learned from each other? Um, and I'll start from our side. You know, I think we often have that, um, that failing to think of ourselves as the poor cousin. But when you look outside these windows and you oh. see what South Africa, what Cape Town has to offer, there is a lot there. What lessons have you learned, Enver? I think the first thing for me was, you know, I think the hospitality of, of New York. You know, there was always a perception for me about New York as being unfriendly. But when you're there and you experience it, but also when you work with a team like Fred's, you know, what they share with you and the willingness to say, well, you know, here's some lessons we've learned. You know, don't always go through the same pains. Try and see how you can figure out and even innovate from that. So for me, a lot of lessons was that, again, you know, similar problems and challenges, but scale is the only difference, but also lots of great opportunities. Um, and I love the fact that we're seeing new opportunities every day because the world is changing so much. And with that, I think tourists' expectations of what they're going to experience in that destination. Um, and there's a lot of expectation, I would imagine, around New York. How are travellers changing? How is you, how you have to respond to that need changed with the way that social media, that technology, everything has, has changed the game completely? Oh, it has, incredibly. And that's one of the biggest challenges is really connecting in that genuine way with the travellers. The one thing that we, that we share in common is the fact that visitors are looking for experiential. You know, they want to get under the skin of a destination. And you can do that really well in places like New York City and Cape Town. Very diverse, very dense destinations with lots of opportunity and offering. So that's been one of the great trends. It's great to see the work that Inver's doing in that area, and we've learned a lot from him. Because um, it's not just about explore, you know, falling into the tourist trap, but for me, I want to connect with someone who lives there. I want to go to his favorite That's coffee right. shop. That You want to really immerse yourself in the culture. That's exactly right. And social media feeds that, that real authentic experience, that genuine human-to-human -human connection. And that's where, that's where tourism really becomes more like diplomacy. And then lastly, I have to ask, is the RAND a dirty word? I was joking about it earlier. How has the RAND's current status affected travel in and out of South Africa, Ember? Well, I think it's been positive for, for tourism in general because the thing is that we are a lot more affordable as a destination, which means that people actually spend more in the, in the destination than they would have originally. But I think the challenge is always for South Africans wanting to go overseas. But that's also a blessing for local tourism, which means that people will actually stay within their own country, within their own boundaries and explore. So I think, you know, a, a, a poor rand is good for tourism to all accounts. Oh, I love it, Fred. Thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure. Um, awesome having you and your team out here. I hope you're going to extend your stay a little bit longer now that Me you've too. actually <laughs> experienced a bit of Cape Town. Ember, always great connecting with you. Um, well, there you have it, guys. A very insightful chat, yes, and I think the deeper message, go out and explore your world, whether it's abroad or in your own backyard. There is a world of adventure waiting for you.